Details are still emerging surrounding the death of Jamal Khashoggi, the Washington Post columnist killed at the Saudi Kingdom's consulate in Istanbul. Back here in Rochester, one local woman who knew Jamal since college says she misses her friend and is determined to fight for justice. Selena Lewis has this story for us. Robin Rieger was working at a record store during her time at Indiana State University when she met Jamal Khashoggi. And uh, one day Jamal walked into the store with a friend and he was kind of just arrived from Saudi Arabia. Uh, they became fast friends and their extended friend group stayed in touch throughout the years. Rieger says Khashoggi was funny and kind and also driven. I'd say pretty passionate about what he believed in um, even then when he was in school. He knew what he or had a pretty good idea of what he wanted to do. What he wanted to do was give Saudis a voice, a goal that may have cost him his life. Rieger says her stomach sank when she overheard on TV, Saudi journalist disappears. Oh, that's Jamal. So, um, you know, I watched the video as he walks into the consulate, and then they're talking about him not coming out, and as soon as they said that, I thought, he's dead. I thought that immediately. One of the last conversations she had with Khashoggi was when he told her he'd left the kingdom because the monarchy began targeting other journalists and he thought he'd be next. It, it makes me physically sick. Um, I haven't felt well for a couple of weeks, but it's also really um, sort of ignited this um, passion. A passion to push for change. Rieger says she hopes the U.S. takes a tougher look at relations with Saudi Arabia, both for justice for her friend, but also reform for the voiceless Saudi people that Khashoggi spent his career defending. Adam. Selena, thank you. Khashoggi, by the way, fought for reform for Saudi Arabians, and he left the country. He did describe himself as a patriot, though, and was saddened that he would likely never be able to return.